Hey guys, so this video is a bit late because I was playing one build and I got really frustrated and quit that build and started a new build and now I need a bunch of items from this build for the next build but then again I really wanted to talk about this build because this build has a lot of cool mechanics and it has a massive damage potential however this is probably the most frustrating build I did this league so keep in mind this is not a full build guide video and the build is far from finished I wanted to mainly talk about why the damage is not everything and why you should not worry too much about getting the damage damage only and how getting defensive layers is very important. I feel like I already did a video like that after some failure build but whatever. So what is this build? So you know the new shield bitter bind point which basically gives you more crit chance uh, per spectre that you have. Also gives some spell damage and spectre life and a free arcane surge when you crit. So I was thinking about some kind of hybrid build where you would be a spellcaster but would also use some spectres but I did not want to use spectres as a main source of damage I just wanted to have spectres that would just keep my company I guess and I personally don't like playing spectres build at all so I was thinking what kind of spectres could I use that would not be too meta and I remembered some enemies that use unrighteous fire and you know how righteous fire damage scales with life so I thought hmm this shield gives me about 100% spectres life then as a necro you also get another 100% spectres life and you get 100% spectres damage so that could be cool for unrighteous fire spectres however unrighteous fire damage does not scale with mineral life so that was my first disappointment because I just wanted to use those unrighteous fire spectres just to clear the map while I could be using flame surge which does more damage against burning enemies but cannot in Click the button itself and then despite knowing that the spectre's damage would not be very high enough for the clear speed I still decided to go with this build. Then next problem flame surge with a lot of cast speed consumes a ton of mana. In these clips I'm only level 79 and it is on a 5 link. By the way spectres are on a 4 link because I cannot get pseudo 5 link anywhere. So since I'm consuming a ton of mana I decided to go with mind over matter. But then another problem is that I wanted to reserve quite a lot of mana. So mind over matter would not be too effective. The next solution was to use Eldritch Battery. More specifically a new helmet which gives Eldritch Battery. The Devouring Diadem. This helmet also consumes corpses every 5 seconds, healing 400 life per corpse, 200 mana per corpse and 400 ES per corpse. And it does consume up to 10 corpses. So every 5 seconds you can get healed by 4000 life, 2000 mana and 4000 ES. So I thought that this will be my main life and ES recovery source. However, as it turns out this recover every 5 seconds is very unreliable. Sometimes it works and you don't even notice that you were about to die and sometimes it doesn't and you die. So kind of to improve my survivability I am also using Mistress of Sacrifice which makes my offerings affect uh, me with 50% effectiveness. And I do have higher level cast and damage taken linked with Desecrate and Spirit Offering. Because Spirit Offering gains 2% of maximum life as extra energy shield for each consumed corpse. So basically when I take the enough damage I throw desecrate and then consume those corpses to heal my ES. It's not a lot because it's only 50% effectiveness so it's only 1% per corpse but since I have 4.7k life with 10 corpses consumed I would heal almost 500 ES. And I am using higher level cast when damage taken because I don't want to trigger desecrate too many times too often but then again I also have low level cast when damage taken linked with unearth, GMP and LMP which produces 7 corpses. You know what? Now that I think about it, why the hell am I using higher level cast and damage taken? Well, getting enough sockets is an issue, but even using lower level cast and damage taken would not really solve the main issue for this build, which is survivability. Combined, I have over 7000 effective life pool, but I do not really have any defensive layers and I don't really have leech. The reason why I did not try to get leech is that I can only leech life, I cannot really leech both life and ES, and if I run out of ES, I cannot even cast spells. So I couldn't even leech then. Which is another massive issue because when I use Val Righteous Fire and if I get hit right after that, because Righteous Fire removes my ES as well, then I basically don't have any ES and I cannot cast anything and then it feels like I'm wasting Val Righteous Fire. 
Now in theory I could do over 2 million, even over 3 million DPS with flame surge against the shaper, with wall rushes fire and war banner placed, giving me adrenaline, and that is with just generic body armor which just gives life. Oh and uh, another thing, I'm using Venomous Weave Gloss to give 15% uh, more damage, and I'm using Malachi's Artifice Ring, socketing Lighting Golem inside it, which does give uh, elemental equilibrium, which makes my flame surge do more damage. So while it does have a lot of conditional things, but those conditional things are pretty reliable, besides the Val Righteous Fire and War Banner against the Shaper. But even against the Shaper you could charge them up before each Shaper phase and just nuke down the Shaper. At least that is the theory. I will include Path of Building import code in the description with the theory crafted build, not the current build but just theory crafted build. Because like I said the current one is far from being finished. And I am not too sure if I'm ever gonna finish this build because it is very frustrating. So I would actually want to ask you you a suggestion. Maybe someone will have a really good idea how to improve survivability for this build without losing too many things. And I do not want to change specters and I do not want to change the main skill which is flame surge. So I will leave this build uh, on hold basically, take the items that I need for the next build which is dual Vulcanus cast and crit blade for Deadeye. And Vulcanus build feels so much better to play than, than this one. So my next video will probably be about Vulcanus build. If you don't know Vulcanus is the dagger that gives a bunch of uh, global crit chance, global physical damage and uh, global fire damage against burning, bleeding enemies while you have avatar of fire. And it does give avatar of fire and freeze damage conversion into fire. I have done the build uh, with this dagger in the past but now it is kind of reworked. It works a bit differently, it's more reliable. And at first I wanted to use uh, Vulcanus just with attacks without any cast on crit and I even planned couple builds but all those builds were dealing <laughs> so much less damage than the champion would and I refuse to do champion. Champion is just no brainer boring kind of ascendancy. And I have seen others doing uh, end game content with Vulcanus dagger as a champion and dealing very nice damage but kind of expensive build. So I went with cast and crit option. In the next two or three days I uh, should probably finish the Vulcanus build and uh, do the build guide video. I don't want to talk too much how I'm building it yet because I'm still undecided, still experimenting, but it should be clear how it's gonna work in the end game, my end game which is Shaper, in the next two or three days. So for now, if you got any suggestions about the flame surge build, leave them in the comments below. I may not answer to all the suggestions or questions, but I will try my best. So for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.